Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbyzil here on YouTube, and today we're going to do a video answering all of your questions that I've been getting in the comment section about dumpster diving. So if you want to know what to wear, when to go, how I do it, all those sorts of things, stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, before you even leave the house to dumpster dive, you need to make sure you have all of the proper gear on. So you're going to want to make sure you're wearing long pants. I always wear either pants or leggings. Just make sure your legs are covered. Second thing I can't leave the house without are boots. So I wear my hiking boots, and they are getting pretty gross. Like, they, they don't usually get too gross from my hiking, but they get really gross from dumpster diving. So yeah, they're like covered in makeup from dumpster diving. But yeah, I would definitely say don't leave the house without something like this. Something sturdy. That way if there is any glass in the bottom of the dumpster or anything sharp, you're not going to get hurt. And then the last thing that I don't leave my house without are gloves. So I would say don't buy those like disposable throwaway latex gloves because one, we're doing this to save the planet people. Don't destroy it in the meantime. And two, because it's cheaper in the long run to just go buy some like regular gloves like this. I got these at the hardware store and they were literally on clearance for two dollars so it's gonna be cheaper to do it this way. More environmentally friendly obviously. These actually go up pretty high on my arm so that I guess I'll just put it on. So that when I have them on you can see that it goes like up higher it just gives me more protection so these I highly recommend something else you should make sure you have before you leave is a flashlight now I know these days most of us just use our phones as a flashlight and that's fine but if you're gonna get really into this go ahead and get you a flashlight that you can use it's easy for you to hold while you're in the dumpster okay so now that we have all this stuff to go the question is when are we going so I would say the best time to go is on Sunday and Sunday evenings. I think all Ulta's close at 6 o'clock on Sundays, so that means you don't have to be out as late if you're going on a Sunday. I would still, though, say wait a few hours after they close. So they close at 6. I usually go around 9 on Sunday. If you're going to go any other day of the week, usually Ulta's close at 9. I would still say give them a few hours to close. Just make sure they're gone before you go. You don't want them to come out and catch you in the act. So I would say on any other day, go at around midnight. The most important thing to remember is really try not to get caught. And we'll get into the laws and stuff like that later, but further than that, it's you don't want the company to catch you because you don't want them to know that someone's going through their stuff. If they don't know, they're less likely to destroy the items and you'll be able to get a lot more quality makeup items if they don't know that you're going through them. So if your Ulta has security, I would say skip out on that, which is unfortunate, but if you start getting caught, they're just going to destroy the stuff and then no one's going to be able to get the stuff out of the dumpster. So as far as security and law enforcement goes, dumpster diving in the United States is legal. However, your state your city, your county, your wherever you live, as the chain of command goes down, they can enforce more laws. But if you live in a smaller city or if you live in a, in a town, whatever, wherever you live, call your city of wherever your Ulta is and ask them what the regulations are. That's the easiest way to figure it out. You don't want to go about guessing if it's legal or not because if you do get caught and it is illegal, well, that's not going to be good. If it is legal in your state and you get caught by security, don't argue with them. It's just not worth it. I know that we think what we're doing is good and it should just be a chill thing to do, but if they ask you to leave, don't put up a fight because you don't want to cause trouble. We don't need to make a scene and then, like I said, inevitably get our stuff destroyed more. Another thing is when you're diving, please don't leave a mess. I know a lot of new divers don't realize it, but you should not be pulling stuff out of the trash can and putting it on the ground and making a mess everywhere. Get in the dumpster. If you're dumpster diving, get in the dumpster. Get over it. And you can pull apart bags in there and do whatever you need in there, but don't make a mess around the dumpster. And what I try to do is every time I go, if there is something around the dumpster, I pick it up and I put it in there. That way I'm leaving the area cleaner than it was before and we're not getting a bad reputation. If you get caught by cops or security, don't give them a hard time. If they try to give you a hard time, just make sure that you know what the laws are and you can tell them, hey, I know this is legal. You can't get me into trouble. But the thing is, is is they can technically get you for a few other things okay so putting your trash in someone else's dumpster is illegal and so if they really want to be an ass about it they can get you for littering they can get you for dumping they sometimes can get you for trespassing but I feel like that's not really a good case for them to try unless the dumpster is inside of a gate and it is uh, up against a building those are the ones you shouldn't mess with because then you have more of a chance of getting caught for trespassing just remember to be careful guys remember we don't want to create a bad reputation for ourselves just be courteous thoughtful don't put yourself in a bad situation. I would say not to go alone, but I know a lot of divers do. Obviously you can, it's just that does 
to me it seemed very dangerous to be behind dark buildings at night by yourself so what I do is I just make my girlfriend go with me she sits in the car if anybody is coming by she yells at me so that I don't stand up and people see me in the dumpster and if you're trying to convince friends to go with you just show them videos like the ones I posted that have stuff in there that show them how much cool shit you can get if they're grossed out by it just don't even don't even deal with them and I think that's it for the tips and tricks and things like that other than that some of you guys have been asking me in the comment section if I sell the things I find a lot of the things that I show in my hauls I don't sell because I want them but I will go ahead and set up a Depop shop this weekend so by the time this video goes up I'll leave a link in the description where I am selling some of the things I find that I don't need I also give away a lot of things I find in my Ulta dumpster diving videos so if you stay tuned till the end of this one you'll probably see the giveaway in this one I do prefer to sell through PayPal so if you see something in one of my videos you want feel free to ask me about it you can email me my business email is below and we can set up something through PayPal okay so I guess that's it for all of my tips and tricks and we'll go ahead and get into the giveaway in this video so I'm gonna give away this Tarte blush highlight and contour palette this actually came out of the drawer of one of the bigger Tarte palettes that has a ton of shades in it I don't know what the palette is called but this came in that palette and one of my Ulta's always destroys all of their stuff and they did destroy the top eyeshadows on this but they forgot to take out the drawer and it'll destroy all that stuff so this blush contour highlight is in perfect condition as you can see it's perfect it's never even been swatched so that's super cool right one of you guys are gonna get this and everyone knows Tarte's blushes are the bomb right so to go with that you're gonna get this real technique stippling brush I know real techniques has a lot of good brushes this is their stippling one it just looks like this you guys you guys are probably familiar and then like I said this giveaway isn't gonna be too big but then I also have two NYX liquid lipsticks I think these are called the soft matte lipsticks yeah soft matte lip creams and there's two of them when I found them they were brand new they've never been used they were in the plastic but I took it off to make them look cleaner so these are in the shade Cairo and Ibiza I-B-I-Z-A I've never heard of that one but it's this one it's like a red pinky color and then there's also this one which is Cairo which is like a super nude so these two so yeah all you have to do to win all of these items is leave a comment down below telling me why you think dumpster diving is so cool this time we're not going to do that you have to like my Facebook page this time you have to share a picture on Instagram so I'll insert a picture right here of what it looks like you can go find it on my Instagram that has the same username as my Facebook Instagram Twitter YouTube it's all the same you'll go share that picture and you'll tag me in it and then that will enter you to win this giveaway you also do have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to like this video so yeah leave a comment share my picture on Instagram all my social media things will be linked in the description bar below also the rules of the giveaway will be down below in case I didn't make sense to you and that's pretty much it you guys if you have any other questions for me about dumpster driving I will answer them in another video I upload dumpster driving videos every Sunday so stay tuned for that my name is Shelby you can find me on all my social media like I said it's Shell Bizzle and until next time create the peace Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to tell you that I did my makeup today with the peanut butter and jelly palette. In my last dumpster dive, oh, my last Ulta dumpster dive, I said that I wasn't sure if I liked it, but, like, I did this with it, and I really like it. I feel like I did so good. I'm really proud of myself. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do we think? It's not the best lighting because it's been so rainy here lately, and I can't ever depend on the lighting to be what I want it to be so that I have good lighting, but, yeah. I like it a lot. And I still haven't figured out how to autofocus my camera like as I move in video. So am I a beauty guru yet? Am I a beauty guru yet? No. Okay. By the way, everything and everything you see on my face is from the dumpster. So that's pretty cool, right? That moment when you want to have like plump lips, you want to have lip injections, but like you're not rich like every other fucking YouTuber. And so you just overdraw your lips. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I do. That's how I do. All right, guys. See you next time.